Hi everyone, my name is Colleen and welcome back to my channel. If you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you guys are subscribing. And if you guys haven't followed me on Instagram either, make sure you guys are doing that as well. I asked you guys what videos you guys would like to see me put out and I got this one so much. So I won't keep you guys for too long. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and make sure you guys are liking this video if you haven't already. And yeah, so let's get into it. So this is what my face looks like without any makeup. Um, I did put some eyelashes on, so I use individual jewels now. I used to use the strips and I always put them underneath my lash lines. These ones are the Ardell Professional Double Up and they are the Trio Lash. But I just use regular like Ardell lash glue and then I just um, curl them. But I bought them off Amazon because obviously you can't go to stores and I normally when i used to wear eyelashes because i usually get them done i used to get them from sally's but i don't know if they're open or not i actually haven't checked but also if you guys notice this line do not judge okay i was wearing a tube top outside and it just left this line and i tried to like even it out but it just wouldn't so that's why so i've already moisturized my face so what i use is a little bit of this so this is the ordinary 100 percent marula oil it makes my skin feel hydrated especially during the summertime and i hope my armpits are shaved and then the next thing that i just go in afterwards with is the pons dry skin cream so i'm just gonna prep my face and this is the primer that i use so this is the smashbox um, original photo finish smooth and blur primer Another dupe for this one, if you are looking for something more affordable that I've tried, it is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer, and it's just like the pink little bottle here, but it works. It has the same texture and everything like that, but I personally just prefer the Smashbox one. I was honestly supposed to do my video, like this makeup routine, with my Q&A, but I am stupid and it just didn't record the entire time that I was doing my makeup. So while I was filming the first time, I dropped my foundation and it just broke everywhere. So I had to put it in a different container. So I'm just putting my NARS foundation in this. And then I mixed the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Wear Foundation. But I just mix the two. It makes a really good combo for my skin. And I'm just gonna mix it together. By the looks of it, I'm already going to forget um, to tell you like the colors and everything that I use. I'll just leave it in the description box for you guys. Okay, so I'm going in with my sponge now and this is just the Real Techniques one. And I'm just going to blend everything into my face. I'm just realizing right now that this color is just not my shade anymore. I did stay out in the sun a few days in a row because the weather was just so nice. So. I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of a darker color. So the one that I'm using is just a tinted moisturizer from NARS. So it's the Pure Radiant SPF 30 sunscreen. Sorry, it's like super dirty. Comment down below if you guys do like the base of your makeup before you do your eyebrows or you do it the other way around. The concealer that I use to spot treat that one even though it's really just not going away so i'm not even gonna bother so this is the maybelline fit me concealer in light and then the concealer that i use is the elf 16 hour camo concealer this concealer i found off of roxetta risa and it looked really really good when she used it so i wanted to use it too so we're just going to let the concealer kind of sit on my face a little bit longer so it kind of sets in i'm going to be going in with the tantour by huda beauty in the color fair and i'm going to use a brush to apply it Guys, I'm really bad at makeup. I really don't know what I'm doing half of the time. So um, the brush that I was using was the Tarte one. I don't even know the name of it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and blend everything out. Um, so now I'm just going to blend out my concealer under my eyes. 100% you can still see my little friend up there so I'm gonna try my best to kind of conceal it as best as I can so we're just gonna let her sit on there I know that was a really bad idea because I already contoured but it's fine it's fine <laughs> this is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder 
Um, this one I have in pound cake and I honestly like it a little bit better than Laura Mercier. I don't know, it's just like a personal preference. And I'm just going to pat down a thin layer at first just to kind of set a base. I'm just going to bake underneath my eye a little bit more and leave it on there for a little bit longer. So while we wait for the baking to kind of set into place, I'm gonna be um, bronzing up my face a little bit. So this is the Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder in the color Suntan. Any excess powder on my sponge, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of create a little line so there's more definition under my cheekbones. I'm gonna be taking an e.l.f. complexion brush, that is what it's called, and I'm just gonna dust my baking off. Okay, and then to fill my eyebrows in now, I'm just going to be using the Brow Stylist Definer from L'Oreal. This is one of my favorites because of how thin the applicator is and it's such a good price as well it's literally like ten dollars at the drugstore so i kind of started to line the underneath of my eyebrow and then i start blending in the middle here and then i start filling in my arch right there and as you guys can kind of see i'm just going along with the natural shape of my eyebrow and then going from there so so i've already finished filling in my eyebrows and i also cleaned them up a little bit but now i'm gonna go in with a brow gel so the brow gel that i use is actually from benefit so it's the 24 hour brow setter this brow gel is literally what makes my eyebrow hairs look really natural so as you guys can already tell like it just looks a lot more feathery on this side compared to this side it looks like you sharpen it in a little bit. So I really like this product and I always need to restock on it because I use it every single day. So blush is probably one of my favorite things to play with and try different colors in because like I was definitely one of those people that did not like blush when I was just starting to do makeup and here I am using all the colors. <laughs> This one is the MAC Gingerly Sheer Tone Blush, and this is probably one of my favorites. It's such a natural color. Um, Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the color Magic. So these two mixed together are freaking banger, and I love it so, so, so much. Like, I can't emphasize how much more I love this combo. So I think I'm going to use that one today. So these are the other two that I usually lean towards. Again, a more neutral color. This is nice for if you're going for like a bronzed look, not too rosy that day. And then this one is more of like a fun, bold pink. So this is gingerly. I don't know if this camera is even picking up the color, but I was working actually with my friend and she had this on bare skin and it looked so good too. So... I just really wanted to try it because I was looking for something more peach toned and just looks a little bit more flushed like sis Okay, my face is a little bit big, but sis without even like the rosy tint that I'm about to add on It still looks really really nice. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of this one right here um, Just on the high points of the cheek Sometimes I'll put a little bit on the tip of the nose so it kind of gives that sun-kissed look you know what i'm talking about so yeah so i went ahead and put on a little bit of chapstick so i use the carmex lip balm so now i'm just going to be going in with the fix plus by mac and i'm going to be going ahead and spraying that all over my face So 
so i hope you guys enjoyed learning how i did my makeup today thank you guys so much for watching this video and even wanting to see this video i know so many people have asked for it and i hope that i delivered for you guys if you guys haven't subscribed already then make sure you guys are subscribing before you guys click out of this video so i think that concludes my video this week so i will see you guys in my next one bye